the missing digit trick. I would like you to grab your calculator and type in a single digit number. That would be any number one through nine. Now I would like you to multiply that number by any other single digit number. So again, multiplying it by a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or nine. Any other single digit number. Hit equals. And now I would like you to continue doing that same thing. Multiplying by another single digit number. Continue doing this over and over, different single digits, until you get a good, let's say, six digit number. And now, I would like you to read me each digit in your answer except one digit. One digit you're going to keep to yourself. That's going to be your secret digit. All the other digits you're going to read to me. And guess what I'm going to be able to do? I'm going to try to guess the digit you left out. And to make it a little more dramatic, uh, I'm going to let you read me those other digits in any order you want. Okay? The only digit I don't want you to keep to yourself is zero, because zero has no value. But pick any other digit in your number, keep that to yourself, and you'll read me the other digits in any order, and I'll be able to tell you the missing digit. Okay, so that is called the missing digit trick. Uh, as you can see from my answer here, uh, if I was the one doing the trick, I would be able to keep any digit to myself except the last one, zero. Okay? Uh, so let's say I kept one of those eights to myself. I would read the other digits to the magician in any order I want. So I might say six, eight, two, three. And the magician would be able to tell me that I left out the number eight. How does it work? Well, by randomly multiplying single digit numbers, okay, eventually you should get a multiple of nine. A multiple of nine is a number that you get by multiplying by nine, okay? Uh, even if the person doesn't do times nine, they could still get a multiple of nine in other ways. So, for example, they might multiply by three twice in a row. Okay, that would be another way they could get a multiple of nine. Okay, but because you instructed them to continue multiplying random single digit numbers, they should do times nine at some point. Okay, and they will get a multiple of nine, just like I did. So, What's the big deal about multiples of nine? Well, the number nine has all these strange magical qualities. And one of the qualities of the number nine is that the digits in a multiple of nine add up to nine. Or they add up to a multiple of nine. So here's a little printout that will show this a little more clearly. So here's the first 10 multiples of the number 9. 9 times 1, 9 times 2, all the way down to 9 times 10. Look at the answers. 9 times 1 is 9. 9 times 2 is 18. 9 times 3 is 27, 36, 45, 54, 63, 72, 81, and 90. Guess what? If you add those digits together, 0 plus 9, or 1 plus 8, or 2 plus 7, or 3 plus 6, guess what you get? Oh, you get 9. And it even works for bigger multiples. Let's say you took the number 9 and you multiplied it by 87. You would get 783. And guess what? If you add those digits together, 7 plus 8 
plus 3, you get a total of 18, which is a multiple of 9. You could even take the digits in 18 and add those together, 1 plus 8, and you'll always get 9. Okay, so let's go back to my calculator. Or I guess I should say my phone. Let's add up those digits. 3 and 6 is 9. 9 and 2 is 11. 11 and 8 is 19. 19 and 8 is 27. Plus 0 is still 27. Guess what? 27 is a multiple of 9. So, to perform this trick, all you'd have to do is figure out what digit must have been left out to reach the next multiple of 9. So in this case, uh, I said uh, I held back one of the 8s, right? So let's add up those other digits again. 3 plus 6 is 9. 9 and 2 is 11. 11 and 8 is 19. Okay? Well, what's the next multiple of 9 that's higher than 19? Well, the next multiple of 9 would be 27. And what would I need to add to 19 to get to 27? The number 8. Okay? Let's look at another example. Let's say they held back the number 2. We would have 3 and 6 is 9. 9 and 8 is 17. 17 and 8 is 25. What's the next multiple of 9 higher than 25? 27. And what do I need to add to 25 to get to 27? Well, I would need to add 2. So the missing digit must be 2. And that's all there is to it. Okay? Now, this particular trick uh, is done many different ways. Uh, the way that I'm showing you uh, is a, uh, a method that I learned uh, from the uh, YouTube channel Scam School. Um, and this is a great way of performing the trick. And I'll include a link in the uh, description uh, so that you can see the original effect. Okay, This is a trick that can also be done over the telephone. Um, and in addition to that, though, if you're interested in the trick and making an actual routine out of it or a real performance out of it, I'm going to include some other ways of reaching a multiple of nine so that you can do this trick several times. I like to end with this particular version where they use their calculator and they randomly multiply single digit numbers. Okay. I think this is the strongest way to perform it, so I like to save this one for last, okay? But if you're interested in seeing more ways to perform it, stick around, and I will uh, give you several tricks that you can do to make an entire routine out of it.